Okay, this is our team call. It is Monday, May 16th, 2016. And all right, let's get this started. Okay, so we're talking about how to reach people for your network. So everybody knows about the memory jogger on um, in the back office. So that we're going to be adding to our network every day. You're going to be connecting with people, sharing and not selling, um, inviting, thinking outside of the box, referrals and leads. So create a contact list. Create your list of 100, 100 people. I did not do this when I started, and I wish that I had. So everybody use that memory jogger and, and keep some kind of track of who you're talking to. So I definitely did not do this when I for a long time, until like three months ago. Um, yeah. So even if you're just having a simple conversation that has nothing to do with Beachbody, keep track of those conversations. So it's not six months later and you realize that you were just just starting to form a relationship with somebody and you left off. So use lists that you already have, wedding invitations, baby showers, holiday cards, school rosters, Facebook friends. So um, yeah, you should have tons of those. Graduation um, invitations. Um, so people who carry common interests, basically this is just all my mistakes that I made that I do not want y'all to make. So, um, let's see. so, you know, don't just be adding people just to be adding people. Um, look for people who have the same interests as you do. So yeah, that's. That makes a big difference. So people who want to get in shape, people who are looking to get out of, of, out of, it says doubt, but it's supposed to be debt. People who want to eat healthy are ambitious, energetic, people who go to the gym, people who don't like their jobs. So look for groups that, ha that you have common interest in. Juliet, what kind of groups are you in? Can you hear yes. me? I can hear you now. Um, I'm not in any groups. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like. I don't. I haven't. I don't really have time to interact. I'm in like one group of like a girls. I don't know. It's like I don't know exactly what you classify it as, but it's like this a group of girls in Austin that posts like women stuff, like stuff that they don't want to post on like publicly. Yeah. Um, but that's like the only group that I'm active in. So I really need to find more to like take part in. So think about ones that you could do like your animal stuff. Yeah. I need to join like dog mom groups. I'm also, I'm in like a permaculture group, but I'm not as active in that as I used to be. Yeah, I, I, I'm not growing anything right now. I don't. Ha I'm not like involved in any kind of projects like that. So yeah. I don't. Yeah, I also don't think that any of those people would like be into Shakeology. <laughs> you don't know that. <laughs> I mean, I kind of know that, but maybe I shouldn't assume that. But I'm pretty sure they're not like the best group of people for me to market to. Because they're sure. making their own. Yeah, they're just, I feel like they would not be into spending that much money on on something that's somewhat processed. Like, they are very much into, you know, just growing their own food. <laughs> yeah. Well, but, maybe there's a group that's, like, in the middle. Yeah. You know? I need to find more. I don't really know how to find groups. I guess you just randomly type into the search bar. Yeah, it's hard. For your I, interests. Yeah, so... You know, like, there's, I don't know, I mean, it's taken me, like, a while to, like, find groups that, like, aren't saturated with other beach body coaches. Yeah. And then groups that, like, it's not a bunch of duds. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, like, I've been, like, you know, like, I was in, like, a bunch of pug groups, and now I'm just, like, hmm. two. 
but um you know like there's a bunch of weird people so i like yeah. i'll just like go and then but honestly like if i see like somebody young and cute that's in a pug group it's like oh my god yay <laughs> <laughs> so i like messes him something weird i don't know <laughs> or not weird try not to be weird yeah um all right moving on okay so build your list so we're adding to our network every day even if it's just three people but really it should be at least five um so do the power of five every single day so be thoughtful of who you're adding don't just add everyone because not everyone's going to be like you let me mute you again okay so look around you. Sometimes we run into people every day who are good prospects and we didn't even notice them. So compliment people, connect to people, never prejudge someone who you think wouldn't make a good candidate. Don't base it off anyone's situation because you don't know what they're capable of. Capable of. Um, so, you know, um, with one of the podcasts that I was listening to, you know, he's, he talks about um, how, you know, just because someone's not in a bad financial situation and just because maybe they don't, they, maybe they're not in a bad financial situation and maybe they don't need to get in shape. Maybe they're already in good shape and they, you know, so those, sometimes the people who are already like doing, be, who are already successful in other areas are people that would see the opportunity in this and would take advantage of it. So collect friends first, trust second, and sales last. So don't always hide behind social media, which I have a tendency to do. So go to parties that you're invited to. Um, hold fit clubs, volunteer in your community, church school fundraisers um or what do you do juliet hold on so juliet you do you volunteer and you do gardens with your community right i did a few like in the fall yeah yeah so um i think that's really awesome to go do i mean and, you know you're just putting yourself out there and meeting people and yeah so um if you're there build a like page and run ads but for everyone who's just starting focus on one outlet and stick to that all right um so school fundraisers, school fundraisers, so sh um, shake and shares. Shake and shares are when basically, I don't know, this, I, I've never done one and it would make me super uncomfortable to do it, but um, I think the Noska has done one, but it's like basically where you set up a stand and have shake samples and share about it. But people like do them at their houses and stuff. Yeah, I could do it somewhere public before I would do it at my house. But, um, okay, so ask for referrals. Don't ever be afraid to ask for referrals. You know, you do a damn good job. And people come to you as their coach. And, yeah, ask for referrals. Um, personal inviting. So it seems scary. It's not. It's just something we have to do. Um, you're going to hear a lot of no's. Get over it. So that's just part of this. So go Emerald and make Success Club a priority so you can gain leads. Um, yeah, so as soon as you hit Success Club and as soon as you go Emerald, that's when you start making money. So you get, um, when you hit Success Club the following month, then you'll start getting free money basically. So all the people that sign up on, um, that sign up on the internet or, you know, just sign up and don't have a coach, they're assigned a coach and that coach could be you. So you'll get lots of leads and you will start getting your team cycle bonus. Woo -hoo. So how do I qualify for leads program? Qualify this month, receive leads next month. So you need to be a paid Emerald. You need to have your active, active teambeachbody.com club account. 
pay your business service fee, complete your team but beachbody.com bio before and after, no violations for six months, success club five or higher. Yep, there you go. So um, that is easy. Personal development. So these are the first ones that are really good to read. Um, if you haven't read GoPro, it's amazing and you should read it. Also, um, this month we are reading Daring Greatly by Brene Brown. So here are some really good ones to start with if you haven't. These are, these are really business oriented and Daring Greatly is a lot more, um, you know, it's more personal related. So this is all I've got for today. Does anybody have any questions? No. No. Okay. Julia, do you have any questions? No, but um, I did this kind of off topic, but not really off topic. Go for it. I met with these two people that are in, uh, they do Ambit. Have you heard of that? No. What is that? It's, it's a network marketing thing, but it's like a utility company. It's like electrical service, but they get new clients by you have, having like network marketing consultants, which is pretty crazy and kind of cool because everybody needs electricity. Yeah. So anyway, so I met with them and, um, they were telling me about this thing called MLSP. It's like Market Weed System Pro. Uh huh. And it's, I guess it's kind of like a online platform. You have to pay for it. It's like a monthly dues. But basically all the people like Ray Higdon, like all these authors that write all the business PD books that we read helped make this website, collaborative website. And it's basically like gives you step-by-step -step instructions for how to like how to set up your blog and your website for like the best search engine optimization and like basically trying to set up an online storefront so that you're not having to look for leads. And instead a lot of people are finding you on the internet and like calling you or emailing you or whatever. I love it. So I think I'm going to give that a shot. Um, we're moving in like two weeks, so probably like not in, in the next month, but in like June or July, I'm going to try that. Um, and see, you know, cause that's all stuff that I was planning on doing anyways, like yeah. setting up a blog and a website and all this stuff. But it's like, I don't want to waste a bunch of time trying to do my own research for learning online marketing. And I definitely like don't want to get a degree or go back to school for that. So I'd rather <laughs> just have it all set up and they have like an online forum. And when you ask questions, uh, all those, all the like famous authors that help make the website, they will answer your questions. Like famous people what? will like. And yeah, like these are the people that all the PD books that we read, all of those authors are like, you get personal access to them. How much is it? So there's two different plans. Um, but like the one that they, the one that I think I'm going to do is 150 a month. I'm going to do that one because if you sign up people under you, you get a hundred bucks for each person that signs up. What? The, the $50 one, you don't get that like bonus. And I think you don't get as much access to as much content. Honestly, he, like putting 150 back into your business a month is not that much. Yeah. To me, that's a, it seems like a really smart investment to me because he, like the way he explained it was basically for every platform, like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, you know, blogs, it has like step-by-step -step guides for exactly how to set up your page to be the most like effective at marketing and like finding leads basically. So like tar tar targeted marketing where you're not spending so much time finding people. Like he's saying that he doesn't go out and prospect anymore at all. Mm -hmm. Like he has, he has followed the guides and set up all of his online storefront the way it says to do it. And so now like he, his phone is just constantly ringing from people that find him online and want his services. I, I can't Doesn't that sound perfect? <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try that, but anyways, that's uh, I love it. Need, yeah, so I'm gonna I'm because I mean I feel like I'm I'm doing a lot of work and it's kind of like doing it the hard way sort of. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep doing like what I call grassroots social media yeah. networking, but I feel like you know I want to 
like, I want to go big. So we need to use the whole power <laughs> of the internet, not just the few, however many thousands of Facebook people I'm connected to. You know what I mean? Right. I like so, it. Yeah. That's my spiel. I talked, I had a meeting with him yesterday. I was like, this one's awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah. 150 is not that bad. I know. He was trying to, he was like, so, so he was trying to like explain away the cost, like as if I would be like, you know, balk at the cost. And I was like, bro, I'll totally pay 150 a month to learn all that stuff that you just said. So I don't have to figure it out. Yeah. And, you're, absolutely, and absolutely. you're learning it. So like, yeah, you, you can like, you, you can use that and teach so many people. Right. So I mean, I'm, I'm going to do, I'm, I'm do that. I can't find what I'm looking for in the bulk section. I'm like, I've been here for like five all right. Well, that's all I've got. I kept it short. Um, anybody else on here? I heard somebody get on, but maybe not. Shauna, is that you? Yeah. Hey, Shauna. Hey, just listening. Okay. Um, all right, that concludes our call. <laughs>